guys, welcome back. It's the Street Fighter League Roundup. I'm your host, Logan Sama, and every week here on Reversal, we round up all of the action from Street Fighter League around the world. Of course, Japan are on a break. They have got their grand finals coming up at the end of this month, but all eyes are on Europe as it's their last week of regular season play and the playoff positions and seedings will be determined today. And the US continues with week 13. They've got three more weeks of action until we know exactly what their playoff picture looks like. So everything to play for. Let's get straight into the action. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Street Fighter League Pro Europe 2022. In Europe, it was the last week of regular season play, and rather than a down tempo in the studio, there was good vibes to be had. It felt like a celebration. Despite saying goodbye to Reason and Wild Blast in the playoffs, we still had two teams that were playing for seeding positioning. Our first match saw Mouse Sports on the away side going up against Wild Blast. The Mouse Sports lineup looked very familiar as they were making sure that they were firing on all cylinders going into the playoffs. The four fills on Falk opening it up with Broski back with Oro in second and Anchor Problem X still experimenting with that Alex in the final game. Despite finishing last, Wild Blast was still in good spirits and Vega Patch stepped up first to face the four fills. Rather than his usual fung, he went for Jury and he managed to take the four fills down to a third game, but in the end, the four fills closed it out for the first victory for Mouse Sports. We saw the return of MDC Jimmy to face Broski and it was Ryu versus Oro in game number two. Jimmy started off in good fashion and he took the first game here in the corner. But Broski brought it back and the Tengu Stones gave him all the pressure he needed to close this set out to give Mouse Sports a 20 point lead going into the anchor match. Problem X rightfully confident stepping up in the anchor role and he would be going up against Momi. Momi this season has been one of the better performers for Wild Blast but Problem X as always was quietly confident and whilst he had switched it up with the Alex Momi of course went with the tried and tested Kami for this match. The EX stun gun headbutt gave Problem X the way in and he was able to close it out to take game number one. After activating with his anti-air, there really was no escape for Momi as Problem X made it 2-0 with the chase down. And after baiting out the V-reversal to remove the threat of the V-trigger comeback, Problem X was left with a single hit to close out the set 3-0 and a big 40-0 win for Mouse Sports. In our second matchup, 0-0 Nation were the away team and they were facing one of the fan favourites of the season, Reason Gaming. 0-0 changed their lineup a little bit with Gulag in first using Laura. It was Phenom who was second this time locking in with the Luke and Rickman's Barnet in the anchor role with Manat. It was good to see Dr. Gulag back in the hot seat, looking for his first win here in the last week of the regular season. And despite one step layer pulling into a set point position, Gulag reminded us exactly why he was on the team. This perfect kept him in the set. It's Laura, baby. And then another set point defended with another perfect for Gulag. This awkward corner escape failed to be anti-aired and Gulag took the opportunity to get his first win and his first points of the season. The talent were having a lot of fun in the studio and we brought Femi into the uh, off-white t-shirt gang, looking like three peas in a pod. Meanwhile, it was Phenom who would be facing Soundboy in the second match, two of the most consistent players for their respective teams. Phenom showed that he was consistently dangerous even with his back to the floor. Soundboy reminded us that there's very little that's more dangerous in the game than a Cody player holding buttons down and this EX Zonk gave him the opening he needed to close out his first game but Phenom showed patience and awareness to close it out with the V-Trigger Rock Smasher and take the points here which meant Rickmans would be fighting for the 40 point victory for 0-0 Nation and we would find out who'd be facing he called out Shivs and Shivs was who he got but the character was not who we expected as Shivs swerved us all and he went for the Laura rather than the mirror match Rickermans was ready with this interruption, closing out with a CA for the first game. Shivs definitely wasn't here to make up the numbers, and this chase down got him level 1-1. One, one. 
this great corner escape and then interruption into another CA saw Rickman's Barnet pull ahead in the set. And despite the fear of the V-trigger from Laura, Rickman's Barnet maintained his call to set up a checkmate situation and close out the set 3-1 for another big 40 point win this week. Sad to say goodbye to two of these teams as we move into the playoffs. The reason, guys, have given us so much entertainment and good vibes this season. It was great to catch up with them. And credit and shout out to the Four Fills, who was named MVP of the second half of the season in Pro Europe. And at the end of that season, you can see the leaderboard as BMS remain at top of the standings. And they get first seeding as they'll be facing Team G in the first playoffs match and the all-important home berth will go to Mouse Sports as they face 0-0 Nation in the other semi-final playoff game and you can see the first round of playoffs next week on Street Fight League Pro Europe and only the bold will cross it this is Street Fighter League three more weeks of regular season play over in the US as we commence week 13 and this week we had CLG going up against Red Rooster and Endemic versus Panda game one saw the CLG squad at home versus Red Rooster on the away side who definitely need the points to stay in the playoff hunt Red Rooster saw a lineup that saw Mono open up with Hot Dog in the second spot and Ajax Fidelity in the anchor role as Smug was on the bench this week. Just the Kid opened up for CLG with Jury and he was facing Mono in the first game. It went down to the last game last round, but Just the Kid was able to navigate the traps and get the throw to close out game number one. Second up saw Chris CCH facing Hot Dog and it was Luke versus M. Bison. With Hot Dog one game up, this chase down of the V shift got Chris CCH in a great position to level it up. However, despite only needing one more touch, Hot Dog chased him down with the air to air and managed to put himself in set point position. And from there, Hot Dog managed to bait out the EX reversal and he closed out a two 0 win for Red Rooster to level it up at 10-10, which meant it came down to Filipino Man on Rose facing Ajax Fidelity's difficult Ed. That Ed corner pressure proving too much for Filipino Man, even though he was trying to fight his way out of the corner, and Ajax took game number one. This absolutely beautiful EX spiral into teleport, avoiding the V trigger, gave Filipino Man the second game and he leveled it up one apiece. Filipino Man sensed the forward momentum from Ajax and this slide stopped him in his tracks to go 2 1 into the lead. But we would be going into a game five as the corner pressure finally paid off for Ajax Fidelity as he lands the throw and takes the fourth game. It looked dire for Filipino Man as he was on the verge of stun, but he fought his way out of the corner and made this incredible comeback which we're going to let you watch right now soul punish still there didn't think he was going to get absolutely mixed with the teleport two times and there's the stun and he closes it out even with the ca for some style points and look how much it means to the clg team in the air oh my god in our second fixture of the week, it was Panda versus Endemic. And Panda put forward a team lineup of JB with Rashid, Nephew on Colleen, and Punk on Luke with Kami on the sub bench. Gamer B stepped up first with the Lucia to face JB. Gamer B's patience and experience paid off as he bided his time and got the final hit to take a 2 0 win in the first game. It was Knuckle Doo who stepped up for Endemic to face Nephew in the second match. And despite Knuckle Doo taking an early lead, Nephew managed to land the stun here and level it up one apiece. But Doo's guile was looking very solid and the zoning was too too much for Nephew to overcome, 10 points in the bank for Endemic, which meant that it was all down to Punk, who was facing Idom in what is definitely our marquee match of the week here, two of the greatest in the US going head to head. Punk got first blood as the corner pressure paid off, this whiff punish took the first game, but these two players were evenly matched and the interruption got the stun for Idom and the KO. 
Punk once again put Idom into the corner and the shimmy pressure was too much. He got him to bite. There's the stun and there is game number three. 2-1 to Punk. Idom with the life lead and this backdash in the corner gave him the opening to land the interruption into the CA and we are going to a fifth game. Punk was ready for the punish on the crouch fierce and he managed to take it 3-2 which meant that we were going for a tiebreaker set and who was going to be stepping up? In this first one it would be Shine facing Punk. This mistake from Shine gave Punk the first round and then the loot corner pressure was too much, the stun landed and then the big finish for Punk who took the 25-20 win for Panda. That leaves Panda in touching distance of the playoffs with two matches remaining and these last two weeks of regular season action are going to be incredibly exciting as the last two spots of those playoffs are still open. Next week we can look forward to Red Rooster versus is NASA X Bandits as a top versus bottom meeting and CLG will be facing Panda once again after the bad blood in their first set this one should be full of fireworks there you have it two incredible weeks of action in Street Fighter League across Europe and the US but it's not over because I want you guys to get involved in the comments below. Let us know who your MVP was for this week. Was it Punk coming through for Panda from 20 points down to secure the victory? Was it Filipino Man in that anchor roll doing oh so well against the mighty Ajax Fidelity? Was it Problem X looking so strong with that Alex pick as they go into the playoffs? Or was it Rickman's Barnet in the anchor roll for the first time looking very strong with the Manap? Maybe it was someone completely different. Let us know. I want to hear from you get involved in the comments hit that like button and if you are not subscribed to the channel make sure you do so it all helps the algorithm and we can do more content speaking of more content there'll be more videos dropping this week on the channel of course we've got the regular roundup where we look at every fighting game uh, in the genre and cover the events around the world for you there and of course you can follow us on twitter it's reversal underscore gg or check us out on twitch for our live broadcasts that's reversal gg I'll be back next week with more Street Fighter League action. But until then, take care and I'll see you real soon.